Oh, and Tom is out there he, trekking a very comfortable Monday morning out there. It feels so good. I mean, it the does. humidity down. It's unusually dry out there for this time of the year, especially, but it's also going to be unusually cool. That's not going to last. I mean, later on this week, we've got big time changes coming our way. So get outside. Enjoy today while you can. 55 degrees, but look at this. We have a dew point in the upper 30s. That is an indication of just some really dry air in place. And you can feel it as soon as you walk out the door. We've even got some upper 40s trying to take hold into our northern counties. Low 60s south. The temperature trend up, but it's not going to be a huge spike. There's no heat wave coming. We'll get back to around our average high after below average stuff in the low to mid 70s today. We average an 80 degree high the next couple of days. And we'll likely see a lot of upper 70s to low 80s. Part of the reason there is no big temperature spike, a lot in the way of shower and storm chances later this week. Now, we did have a few at the tail end of the weekend. There you can see them south and east last night. High pressures ridging in with that northeasterly flow. You've got cooler, drier air coming in, but eventually that high is going to drop down toward the coast. And as it does so, we'll see a return to showers, storms, muggier air, warmer air. And unfortunately, that shower and storm tr chance draws closer. Look at that, a slight risk uh, out west today. Tomorrow, it's closer to home. By Wednesday, day three, we already have a slight risk out. We may have a complex of storms diving south. Could throw some damaging wind gusts and heavy rain our way. And boy, are we talking about heavy rain potential. That's Wednesday. On top of some strong to severe storm potential, we are going to see rainfall that could be on the excessive side. And it's going to be over a number of days through the end of the week and into the weekend. This is the LEX 18 Storm Tracker Future Track. Nothing but sunshine today. Maybe a few late day showers tomorrow after a nice Tuesday. And then boom, Wednesday morning, you can see a potential round dropping south. This is where we start to get into the active weather. And did you notice over the weekend? Well, you probably didn't, but uh, it's officially meteorological summer. Nice tidy three month blocks. June 1st is the beginning of meteorological summer. The actual calendar, the summer solstice isn't until the 21st, but it's also the beginning of the Atlantic hurricane season. We've already had subtropical storm Andrea and next on the list way down south could be tropical storm Barry. This is an enhanced satellite imagery showing storms out west and this cluster of storms way down uh, the Gulf of Mexico into the uh, Bay of Campeche there. Uh, this complex of storms has a 60% chance of formation in the next 48 hours would likely drift northwest toward the coast of Mexico. So it shouldn't be much of a threat for anywhere in the continental United States, but still could be yet another system. And of course, it's Barry. How much cooler does it get than that? Uh, we've got uh, the potential for development there, but also the potential for a lot of development here, non tropical, tropical related, but still the possibility of uh, very active weather toward the middle of the week. So we're going to be hammering that home. The chance for active weather Wednesday and then on again, off again into the weekend. Take advantage of that sunshine and those low highs and the low humidity because uh, boy, we've got warmth, we've got mugginess, and it's going to be consistent the rest of the week. And this could be shower and storm chances that don't really start to shake as far as that daily chance until some point toward the middle of next week. So that active weather could be a big time issue for us as we hit the middle to the end of the week.